What up y'all and welcome back to the Fit Men Cook Kitchen. You see all these amazing meals in front of me right now. I am so hyped because we are doing a back to school video. I'm gonna make someone out there a dorm room chef, dorm room champion, I don't know, iron chef, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna show you how to make some culinary wonders right there in the middle of your dorm room. Wherever you are, if you only have access to a microwave today, I got you. And if you're headed off to college, hey, hey, this is the most exciting time of your life. And these recipes, if you choose to make them, will make that time even more enjoyable with your friends. So if you're ready to roll up your sleeves, then let's get started. First, let me show you how to make rice in a microwave. You're gonna wanna get a microwavable safe pot like this one. First, you're gonna rinse the rice to get rid of excess starch so it doesn't clump up when you're cooking it. Make sure the water's cold and you're gonna rinse it until the water runs clear. Add the rice to the pot and then add enough water until it reaches your top knuckle. Add a splash of oil to prevent further clumping. Then you're gonna cook this for eight to 10 minutes on high power and then cook it for three to five minutes on low power. Let's make a tuna casserole. You can use any type of pasta or even rice if you want to. I'm gonna be using some egg noodles. First thing, add it to our microwavable safe pot. Add some water and you're gonna microwave until they're soft between seven and eight minutes, just like regular pasta. Add some albacore tuna, I prefer the white. Drain it, add it to a bowl. Flake it with the fork so it'll mix well. Add in some reduced fat cream and mushroom. Forest Gump action with some peas and carrots. Egg noodles, a little bit of cheddar. I'm gonna hit it with some smoked paprika, salt, pepper, and a little bit of almond milk. Fold everything together. Grab a microwavable safe pot or pan, add in tuna casserole. Mix some panko with a little bit of Parmesan, spray it with some oil, and then sprinkle it right here on top. Hit it with some pepper into the microwave. Gonna lightly cover it and cook for about six to eight minutes. Let's make a Tex-Mex burrito bowl with turkey sausage. Take a sausage, dice it up into pieces. You're gonna add it to your microwavable safe bowl and we're gonna cook this first. High power, three to five minutes. Then we're gonna add some rice, black beans, can of green chilies, and get a taco seasoning packet from the store. And we're just gonna use a tablespoon or so of it. And if you wanna add some veggies, I recommend adding in some spinach. Then we're gonna fold all of this together before we add in the sausage. And to give it the Tex-Mex flavor, we're gonna add in some crushed tortilla chips. And if you want a little bit more moisture, you can either add in some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce, or you can add in some enchilada sauce. The choice is up to you. I think I'm gonna add in some chipotle because I like a little heat. Add it to our sausage. Gonna top it off with a little bit of cheese. Then you're gonna lightly cover and microwave on high for about five minutes. Let's make a turkey sausage frittata. First, you wanna grab a ceramic or a glass dish like this, add in some turkey sausage, chop this up right now as it's raw, and spread it out over the base of the dish. And we're gonna microwave this for increments of three minutes until it's fully cooked. We're gonna add some spinach to it as we prep the eggs, and just lightly cover this with a bowl or a plate or something, so that way the spinach wilts down some. Got eggs and egg white, add a little bit of garlic, some onion powder, Gonna add in a little bit of heat with some Fresno peppers. Salt, black pepper. Pour in our egg, and you're gonna mix everything together as we pour. Hit it with some pepper on top, and we're gonna microwave until the egg is cooked all the way through. Let's make some teriyaki salmon. First thing you wanna do is grab some fillets, and you're gonna wanna marinate them in store-bought teriyaki sauce. I use the bag, but you can use a container. Add them to a glass dish, and just for security purposes, I like to just get a little bit more teriyaki or hoisin or some oyster sauce. And you can lightly cover using a microwavable cover like this, or you can use some cling wrap or some plastic wrap. Just make sure that if you do use a plastic wrap, it says microwavable safe or microwave safe in here, BPA free. That's the most important thing. If it doesn't say this, don't use it. Just use a cover like this. And bring it all together, add some rice, some steamed veggies. I'm using some spinach and our teriyaki salmon. Sprinkle with some sesame seeds if you have it. 
Let's make a comforting white bean soup for those chilly nights. I like to use these jars because they stand up to high heat, take off the metal rings. Now you can buy some canned chicken broth. I like to buy these bouillon cubes because they go a long way. So I'm just gonna half this bouillon cube, or you could even quarter it. We're gonna add some water to both, a little bit over a cup. Then we're gonna microwave this for about two minutes to dissolve the bouillon cube. For the protein in here, you could either use some canned chicken or you can use rotisserie chicken that's bought from the store. I always prefer this one just because it's inexpensive and tastes really good and it'll go much farther. Add in some chicken, add in some white beans. These are drained. Hit it with some spinach and mix it up in there so that spinach wilts down. Hit it with some oregano or some Italian seasoning. Some diced tomatoes if you'd like. This is optional. Garlic, onion, sea salt, pepper. Careful with the sea salt since you already have the bouillon cube. Heavy on the black pepper. Stir everything together. It's already smelling amazing. And then we're gonna microwave this for at least five minutes. Ooh, this smells so incredible. All right, y'all, that is it for today's recipe video. Hope that y'all really enjoyed it. And every time I do them, it just brings back all, all of the nostalgia of being in college and whatnot. And I could have used ideas like this, but it's not just for people who are in college. There are people in the military who write me all the time that look for recipes like this because they don't have access to a kitchen, but they do have a microwave in their barracks. So I hope that wherever you are in the world, whether you are going to college or whether you're stationed somewhere, or whether you just live in a tiny like efficiency and all you have is a microwave, these are some solid ideas to get you through the day, to get you through the week for your meal prep. And if cooking in the microwave is not your thing, it's okay. There's no need to tell all the rest of us that or to write me about it. You can just skip the video and move on. But for those that actually want them, <laughs> this is some great content. And lastly, you can get all of the macronutrient breakdown and the recipe on fitmincook.com. It has been refreshed with new content, with a new look and feel to make it easier to find the meals that you want. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, keep it healthful, but of course, never ever boring. Boom and hook them.